InfoWars.com. Paul Joseph Watson over there. FEMA officials are training in Texas. Uh, they're training Texas cops for mass arrests during periods of civil unrest. Yes, Paul Joseph Watson for InfoWars reports that the Department of Homeland Security oversaw uh, a first-of-its-kind three-day training exercise in Texas this week during which police officers from 15 different departments took parts in drills on how to deal with riots and conduct mass arrests. Yes, it says here, uh, Joseph Watson continues, dozens of McLennan Community College students posed as unruly demonstrators during the drill which took place at the McLennan Community College Emergency Services Education Center. Uh, Quote, this type of training has never been done in Texas before. Uh, Those are the words of the training coordinator, Jay Fonville, who told the Waco Tribune. Cops learned how to counter domestic and civil disturbances during the training, which was conducted and coordinated by the Department of Homeland Security Center for Domestic Preparedness, as well as proper use of batons, mass arrest procedures, and riot control formations. Quote, riots are hard to detain, and as little as officers, uh, and as little officers, they have little they have, I'm sorry, and as little officers as they have, they're probably going to be outnumbered most of the time. It's vital that they get it correct the first time. Uh, those are the words of the criminal justice major, Dylan Solis, who told KCEN TV. <clears throat> now, the article continues the exercises involve protesters provoking cops, but classroom briefings on large crowd management, critical thinking, intuitive decision making skills, and the public's right to peaceably assemble were also held. And here's the kicker. <clears throat> FEMA instructors were on hand to advise cops on the protesters' constitutional rights, as well as how to handle situations with multiple arrests and mobile field force team methods. Yes, the training, the, he writes, the training is expected to be put into practice in realistic situations, and more drills are being planned for the future. So, if you followed my work for uh, the last 10 years as I've been reporting on these types of stories, uh, you know then for a fact that the, uh, the continuity of government programs uh, are, in, are, are in place. In the event of civil unrest or a national, uh, natural, natural disaster or national emergency, uh, they could throw these types of uh, scenarios into play. And this is a full-blown public... Okay, um... All praises to Yahweh by Shemir Abu Shai, the Bahamas to the L's of GMS. Salutations to all the Akim out there. You know, pushing is true. Go ahead um, and clear my camera a little bit. All right. Yeah, so basically, this guy just said, you know, we've been saying, basically all the, you know, pieces are in place. Man. Just like this guy just said, man, you know. Because uh, the so-called white man, he's preparing for basically, it's America, man. Cause they know it. They know it's about to go down in America, man. You know. So with that, uh, get a couple scriptures, man. One second. Uh, which one? I got so many Bible apps. Right, this one right here. Go apocrypha. Let's get a uh, second Ezra's. chapter. I'm going to jump to the uh, 14. Second Edges 15 and 14 said, Woe to the world and them that dwell therein. For the sword and the dr- for the sword and, destruc- and destruction draw off nigh. One people shall stand and fight against another and swords in their hands. All right? Which that's what their video was talking about, you know? Because the people is going to come up against the government and against each other. For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall not regard their kings nor princes or the course of their actions shall the course of their actions shall stand in power. A man shall desire to go into a city and shall not be able to. Because why? So-called white man, he's going to have, you know, checkpoints, you know. You're not going to just, just, just like now, you can drive your car, you can go into the next, you're going to be able to do that, you know. 
like here, I, I, I live in Gary, right? Hammond is about five, 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 ten minutes away, man. You won't be able to, you know, go go right right to uh, East Chicago or or, or Hammond, you know, because those cities is gonna be cut off, man. You know, it says because of their pride in the cities shall shall be troubled. Their houses shall be destroyed, and men shall be afraid. All right, it's a man, so you're gonna have man that's gonna be to be afraid. So it's gonna get real bad in America, you know. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, because with this martial law coming and 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 this chip coming in into play, you know, hey, just like the scriptures say, no man will be able to buy and sell unless he that had the mark. If you don't got the mark of the beast, you're not gonna be able to eat. It says, a man have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods. Because what? See, the lack of bread. And what? In great tribulation, man. You know? Stuff is going to get really bad in America. You know? But the point that I was in this video, the white man knows it's going to be what? Insurrection, you know? In, a, in America, man. He, he knows that, man. He know, hey man, he he know that that uh uh you know the martial law is coming. That's why uh you see all these police there they're basically being uh, uh uh militarized, you know. So they're they're uh, preparing for it, you know, slowly, you know. All right now, uh let's get uh what's, what's I think it's Isaiah the nineteenth chapter. All right, this is Isaiah 19 and 2. I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. They shall fight everyone against his brother. And the modern day Egyptian is what the people over here in, in, in America, all right? And the reason you, you, you can say that because the real Egyptians, hell, they don't even know that they're, they're even Egyptians, you know? That's why on the back of your dollars was a pyramid. Because why this place is what? Spiritually Egypt, just like uh, it says in Revelation. 11 to 8. And I will set the Egyptians against the Egyptians. And and, 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 and they shall fight. Like the military or the, the police over here in America, they're considered what? A Egyptians. Because why? They stay in the modern day Egypt, which is America. They, sh they shall fight everyone against his brother. All right? And that's what the police is what preparing for, man, to fight against their, their fellow citizens, man. Everyone against his neighbor city against city so you just, just like i was saying hey you're gonna have people like trying to invade different cities looking for food you know because because why hey it, it, it's not going to be any food man they're going to lock down everything man when you read those different bills that the so-called white man has passed has passed like rex 84 and uh what's that uh the, the king the king alpha plan what's that the the patriot act they tell you how they're going to take control over basically everything from cars to food to uh, uh, natural resources. They're going to take over all that stuff, man, which is going to cause people to, to flip out, man. All right. All right. But basically, they're what? P -p 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 preparing. Basically, they're making that army bigger, man. Because what? Because while this war is going on, going on over here, they're also going to be having World War Three, man. So they got to keep them troops over there, and they got to, you know, make these police over here militarized, man. All right? Get uh, one more scripture. Let me move that. It's locked.
think it's uh, Jeremiah 17 chapter, I think. Lock you, lock you. Give me one second. Right, this is it right here. Uh, Jeremiah 18 and 21. Therefore, deliver up their children to the famine and pour out their blood by the, by the force of the sword. All right, which is what the so called white men is what preparing to do. Let their wives be bereaved of their children and be widows. Let their men be put to death. Let their young man be slain by the sword in battle. Let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop. What's a troop? You know, band of troop, uttering band. And look, it says raiding band. All right? It tells you when you go on Ezra, the 16th chapter, it speaks about that same um, um, raiding band, you know? Matter of fact, let's, let's go to it. The 16th. Because people are going to be raiding the houses. The military is going to be raiding the houses, you know, taking whatever they can. It says... There shall be in every in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. All right, which is basically talking about us or, or the Israelites, you know. Because they tell you in Rex 84, when you read that whole bill, the first place they come in any natural disaster or or uh or anything major that happens. You know, within the uh, U.S., where would it, uh, they're coming wherever the so-called Negroes and uh, and, and um, Latinos live at. All right. It says, "Uh, there shall be in every place, and in the next cities, a great insurrection." Which uh, insurrection is what? Uh, uprising of what the people? All right, upon those that fear the Lord. And they shall be like madmen, sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. All right, which are what the Israelites. They shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. See what I was talking about, man? A raiding troop. Or just like when the police kicking your door or when people sell drugs, what they do? They raid your house, man. Kicking your door, raid your house. Smack up your kids, you know. Just imagine the regular police do that. So just imagine uh, 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 when FEMA troops come, oh, you know. Uh, hold on one second. Get back to uh, Jeremiah. It says, let a cry be heard from their houses when thou shalt bring a troop suddenly upon them. They shall have digged a pit to take me hit and hid their snares from my feet. All right, and with that, uh, I'm going to say um, all praises to Yahweh Bashim Rabbi Shai, the bottom of the elders of GMS, salutations to all the Akim out there. Uh, you know, Shalom, peace, peace and blessings, you know. Keep pushing the truth.